You know, I had a spiritual teacher one time talk to me and she said to me, she said, what you're really asking for is dominion. Well, truthfully, I'd heard the word a thousand times. I lived next to a state that called themselves the Old Dominion State. But I really didn't know what she meant by that. And I'm going to talk about that with you right now today. You know, it may be that when you pray for light, which is illumination in your mind, a healing in your body, peace in your life or prosperity, what you're really praying for is dominion. I pray that you take dominion as you grow up in every way into God who is the head into Christ. We phrase our prayer often as a healing or a prosperity prayer. But what we're really praying for, if we really think about it, is we're praying for dominion over ill health, dominion over poverty. Most of us seldom get around to thinking in the broader terms of taking dominion. See, when we're praying for health, but we don't have dominion over health, we don't have the power to re-manifest it over and over again, we're just having a slice of the pie. Same with prosperity. But when we pray for dominion, we're changed at depth. We become the person with God in control, and we can manifest that. Sometimes it is something in us that prods us, that pushes us to grow up in every way. And we know that in that moment, we're not a child anymore, but we are mature in our spirituality. And if we're mature in our spirituality, we're meant to take dominion. But where do we start to take dominion right where we are? Begin this moment to affirm, I can and I am. We willingly accept responsibility of conducting our lives in an intelligent way. Really, that's the ultimate of taking dominion. We accept the responsibility. We become our prayers. We don't ask for a giant divine crane to come down and save us once. We work with God, with God coming through us to, to save every moment of every day. We willingly accept responsibility, conducting our lives in a higher way. We give prayerful consideration to the needs of our body and we contribute to the peace everywhere we are, in our home, in our nation, in our wonderful world. We draw upon the limitless resource of limitless good of God and we use this energy wisely, increasing it with an infusion of our energy coming from our bodies and our faith. In other words, spiritually, we grow up in every way and we take dominion. Ephesians 4, verse 15, speaking the truth in love. We are to grow up in every way into God, who is the head, into Christ. Well, you want to grow up spiritually. So do I. None of us are at the end point of this. We're all on a journey. Let's take dominion right now. Grow up in every way right now. Into God, into the head, into Christ. Christ.